Good morning, folks. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, my eyes are kind of burning. Fuck, I got a bad haircut. Nope, I haven't combed my hair this morning. So, folks, no, I'm not wearing one of Steve Harvey's old shirts. No. So, fo so folks, um, you know, I, I promise a lot of shit. And every year I promise a lot of video remixes and all that shit. And I've been having computer problems lately. So I bought this brand new computer I'm on right now, which I tried a few weeks ago, and videos were pretty good and everything, but I hate dragging this all in one computer outside. When I just repaired the server I used, but I bought a server because I said, oh, servers are much faster, more computing power, and all this. Now I plug it up, and it's exactly like a regular computer. I guess when you inundate the memory and all the programs and Microsoft and all that stuff, and you know, it's like you, you start off with a 120 gig hard drive and you load everything up for the first time, and you have 115 gigs left, and then you go through all the Microsoft updates, and then you don't have any room to download new songs from you know Apple. And bringing up Apple, my buddy, he does a lot of video stuff. And name of his company is doing everything with sound something like that I forget and um and we you know I went over his house and I checked out a bunch of his videos and I'll sit down with him and I was just looking through the setup and shit it's like you know I'm like how many times have this crashed while you're trying to you know no I don't really I don't my, my computer don't crash so I've been addicted to buying Apple computers lately so I've about three laptops and uh, they're all older laptops because come on man why in the hell am I gonna pay seventeen eighteen hundred dollars for a damn laptop my age please I don't need an eighteen hundred dollar laptop to do what I do or three thousand dollar laptop with that nineteen thousand dollar setup that I was looking at and I was drooling over and you know those those big 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 so I wanted that, and I'm like, you know what? I don't need a $19,000 computer system that I could probably build a space shuttle with. But now, I don't want nothing like that. But um, So I've been buying these G4s, because my buddy told me that's where he started. And this is actually the guy that taught me how to build computers. I shit you not. We used to go to the Goodwill and then line up. Yeah. To get those Pentium 2s, 3s. Oh, look, look at this hard drive, man. It's five gigs. It's a big hard drive. Big, big. I remember when a one gig hard drive was mind boggling. But you wouldn't know about SCSIs and all that stuff. So let me get on back to what I was saying. So every time I start, you know, put it like this once I begin to edit a video, you have this take, that take, this take, that take, this take, that take. On the video, Jesus left me hanging on the banks of the Mississippi with a whole bunch of people trying to get me. That video is like nine takes before you see the civil rights in the back and, and all that. And maybe that's what I'll do because I got all those different takes of all those different videos I've done. And it's just like, and that's why these computers crash. I did a song remix for my cousin, and I started to mix it. The first version was lame. Second version was lamer. Third version was extremely lame. Fourth version, I took some elements from the second version, and I put in Las Vegas. Maybe I'll put that video out so you can sing King Bay uh, right out of Memphis. So you can. You, I never put that out. I put it out on something else, but I'll see if I can download the King Bay video. And then I put it right back up. I did most of the King Bay video on this computer. But I did a lot of it on the server. And now I got this stuff on two different computers. And one problem I have is I do not like, and I absolutely hate, I hate throwing away material. This is why when I start mixing something down, like uh, the last Friday free concert, you know, Occupy Love concert or whatever I called it. That shit was like 
you know, did that in a few days, and you know, it's like it took up a lot of space. But see, the thing is with that video is I did the long, you know, track, and then I went and found all the Occupy videos that I wanted, and then I manipulated the one main track. So when I did it that way. It was almost easier, but as you see in that video, a lot of my essence is gone because you lose a lot when you mixed it down or when you transferred it. And if I mix it down and keep it on the computer, it's high definition and clear. And if I upload it, it all depends on who gets it or when it gets up there, whether it's going to come out in high definition or not. And you can tell in several of the videos, like the one where... Um, you see the Willie Lynch letter going up, and then you hear, hear, hear the lady, uh, you know, complaining about black people in America. I put that video out like four times. The first three times it was in high definition. You couldn't see the red writing in the background. And then it's like, you know, it all depends on when I upload it into this system, whereas if they're going to allow it to be high definition or not. If you look at the knickknack video with Jada Fire, that is in super high definition. Why? Because there's a woman shaking her boobs, and it's clear, and it's like, oh, it's artistic. It ain't just a chick shaking her shaker. And then you hear the sounds in the background of the, of the slurping motions of a soda. You know, so, maybe milkshake. But now, if you look at the quality of my videos, they fluctuate up and down and up and down from blocky to squarey and everything from, uh, you know, Full screen to uh, what is that? Uh, mm, I forget. But now that's what I'm saying. So maybe if I switch to Apple, I can you know finish one of these masterpieces. One of the best videos I think I've done to date was because a few, and I mean a very few handful of real YouTubers helped me out when I caught on fire. The problem is. People were watching the video, but people couldn't send me money in the euros. Just send less money. But I can understand that. Because not everybody got a few dollars to give up. Like, come on, man. I still owe six grand for burning up. These people helped me out. But what messed up the video was, when somebody typed something negative on the bottom of the video, that made people not want to watch it. I understand why some people go through and edit all that stuff out, and then their videos look positive. But the truth of the matter is, if uh, T Mot and and uh, T Mot, if T Mot and a few other people just let people write that shit down, if you leave it on the bottom of the page, I'm pretty sure people write T Mot some bad shit. And um, I think he didn't have a couple battles with some YouTubers that I respect and everything. I respect him too. They, you know, he makes sense in his own way, and everybody makes sense in their own way. But I like T Mot; he's pretty good. And uh, what's the other guy? Um, he got like 15 million channels. I remember when this guy first came out. The Temple of Truth. Uh, uh, what's, oh, man. He's pretty good, too. But then he got like 50 channels. You know, like I said, man, the only person I know got 50 channels is me. And why is Nubian? He's classic. It's like, you know, man, you still got J. Ryder 4. And, you know, <laughs> JG. That <laughs> nigga JG. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like those those motherfuckers, man. I like when it don't change. It's like like me. Sometimes you'll see me in my bedroom, and then you'll see my wife's uh, dress or something hanging on the closet door. That's classic. Or you'll see me in my garage. And you'll see the garage as a background. That is classic. You got all these young kids out there trying to be like entertainment shows out there, and they're getting credit for that, which that's good. When your parents put up a few thousand dollars and shit and give you thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment, that should be good for you too. Remember the story of LL Cool J? I don't know if you guys remember that. Started out with his grandpa, grandfather buying like $15,000 worth of music equipment. Well, when you jump in a rap battle and you got 15 G's worth of stuff, and the other guy is uh, rocking his homeboy's turntable and somebody else beatboxing on somebody else's amplifier, get the picture? No drum machine. <laughs> and then somebody else is rapping or whatever. And this dude come out. Blasting 
system, he like, his mama must have said, knock him out. He knocked the ass up out of there. And that's how he started. He on one level. Fuck it, when he makes some money, he make money, baby. But now you don't understand that. So I digress. I got to go and try to see if these Apple computers work. If an Apple computer works, then maybe I should have jumped to Apple a long time ago. Because, like I said, my homeboy who introduced me to computers in the first place, he's like, I know where we can get these computers and build them. Buy the computers cheap and we can sell them high. I'm like, yeah, right. And I go to this house, he's got 15, 20 computers and shit, you know. And somebody comes like, hey, man, is the computer ready? And he sells this dude the computer for like 150 bones. I'm like, shit, yeah, I can try this out a couple times. Let's do this. And then so we go to the Goodwill. And I shit you not, the doors would swing open. And there would be, not thousands, but it would seem like a herd of people running to just get to the door. And I was new at this. I mean, they'd be ready to go open the gate. I'm thinking, I'm going to walk in there. There's old women, you know, there's, you know. People that you clearly see at the flea market, you know, just regular people, I guess, you know, entrepreneurs. I didn't know that you can go find money. So I go into Goodwill, and the gate opens up, and an old lady pushed me down to the ground, and people are running. And I get up, my arm is bleeding, I'm looking around, I'm in freaking shock, so I start running in the door like everybody else. Get in there, they got Amps, receivers, TVs, computers, clothes. I'm like, so I, you know, I'm, you know, I'm still like in shock. I'm bleeding. I got knocked over. A little scuff on my head. Arms squeezing out blood. And then I see my buddy over at the computer stuff. I'm gonna get you some stuff, man. First time I was there, I know what the fuck I was doing. So I can grab a computer or whatever, you know. Monitor, keyboard, mouse. Plug it up and get home and, you know, I think I paid like seven, eight dollars. And, um, what's it, uh, Pentium had Windows uh, 98 on it. Um, G4? No, no, it wasn't a G4. It wasn't even, um, what was it? Was it a Pentium 1? Was it just a 386? It was, uh, I don't know what it was. But when I got it on, it worked. He's like, so what are you going to fix on your computer? I'm like, well, I guess I got to get a CD-ROM or something next for it. But it comes on and says everything works out. They don't work. Get to his house, grab a couple parts, whatever. Make it as cool as you want. And now I can build a computer. Three, let's fast forward, three, four months future. Now I no longer live in this town. I moved to Berkeley. And I'm working in, you know, living in Berkeley and everything. And my sister-in-law is like, hey, you know, you came over and fixed our computer. They got computer classes. You want to go to computer class? I'm like, ha! I don't need that. Because, you know, I had a good job. I don't need no computer classes. And now, all of a sudden, I'm going to the computer show in Oakland. I remember the first DVD, not DVD, see, I'm all, I'm, I'm all moving stuff. The first CD burner I bought, it was $195, and it was like two speed. And my buddy's like, man, you getting that one? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get this one. I need to burn some CDs, you know, because I was still, you know, getting all my old music off tape and started trying to put it on the CD. And it was weird because the whole progression was now I'm starting to make music with these computers and stuff. And then I come back and check on my buddy, you know, back in this town where I'm in now. And I'm like, dude, what's up, man? What, 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 what you working on? What kind of computers you got? I got a Mac. Shit's weak, man. Shit's weak. You know, she can't even put nothing in it. Can't do nothing with that shit. That shit's weak. I be sitting up and get down by that shit. That shit's weak. And he's been on that Mac and Apple shit ever since. So it was like last year when I um, checked out some of his videos and everything, he says, ever since I switched over, man, my shit don't crash. It don't lock up. It don't freeze. It don't... Don't have to reinstall it. Don't have to constantly 
download updates that take up the space. How are you going to sell a program and, you know, it's 30 gigs? Every two, three days, there's a, what happens to the old updates? How come they just not, re, are they removed? Because it seems like every time I start, every time I got about six videos going, the computers stop working. Every time after I've done three or four videos, it slows down. I don't save every aspect. I do clear this shit out. And all of a sudden, these updates, and now I have no memory. So what I do, you take all the videos you've completed out, and you clear the file. You know, so now you got every take on the external hard drive, every, you know, all the files to put that film together are not no longer in line to where you can put that program back up, move this out, put that back in. That's done. Once you've eliminated the fact that you can't never go back, I have a program. I've been using the same program since 2005. I've got every update since then. Not update so, you know, as far as download. Every you know, 2004, I mean, 2007, and 2008, and 16, 17, 18, you know, the numbers change, you know, I, you know, get the next one up every time. And recently, that's, you know, like I was saying, I did the video, you know, after I burnt, I got burned, I did a video, and that's one of my best videos, I'll get back to it. Um, and, you know, I do these videos just like I do the music, out of my head. I don't sit down and write a script. And the monkey flies through the room on the chandelier. With a laser gun in his hand, he shoots down into the crowd. Women scream and people run. I don't go there. But I can. I have ideas. And me and my friends talk about ideas for movies. And all the time, I'm full of ideas. If I can sit down and just say it, and have some computer cartoon person, whatever, do it, then have it translated to human, then I'd be cool. I'd probably be like, Negro Spielberg or whatever. I don't know. Shit. You know what I mean? But it's all good. Since I'm jumbled and I talk like every other person when they speak to no one looking into a camera. So let me go back to what I was talking about. The computer. He started using Mac. And he was editing. When I watch his editing, my editing is sporadic. He's been going to college better his mind and the things they teach you at the college he's been why don't you come to the college you know a lot more than a lot of people and I'm like I'm not in college I'm not the learning material I just do I can't be taught to do I think that happened in high school when I took creative art and somebody told me draw this it's not creative if you tell me what to do not self-expression if you tell me what to do. Draw the three-dimensional room and items on the wall. Not good with instruction. So he looked at a few of my videos. He's like, man, this is some cutting edge. This is different. And then he looked at that one video. And I was doing it on, no, I didn't have this computer. I brought my um, server into the room after I got burned hideously. So my face looks slightly swollen. If I let this eye relax, look, look like somebody punched me in the eye. Look. Officer, get in. Get in. But now, I had the server in the room. And I laid on the bed. I used to be handsome. Now look at me. I was so blind. Whatever the fuck I said. You know. And I was making up the song out of my head. And it's like, you know, I knew what I was going to do. I had it planned. I had the metronome going. I used to be handsome. Now look at me. I was so proud. I cursed the birds and the bees. Some shit like that. And I'm like, then I showed him, I'm showing him what I had got together. I'm on the bed and I'm singing and all the music is together and everything is fitting. In our business, we call that a talking head. I'm like, yeah. Every video on YouTube is a talking head. And if you notice, those kids who get paid, 
are not just talking heads. Everything is moving around the video. They'd have a pop-up right here or a picture right here or some fast-paced story and then pictures of, and Britney Spears is my best friend and, and blah, 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 and yakety slap me and, you know, all kind of, you know. And it draws attention to people. And this person has creativity. It's when you follow along their guidelines. When you do what the status quo does, you get noticed and recognized. So I don't know, but maybe I can complete one of my masterpiece works of art like I have done several. And uh, in a couple of weeks, all you will see is edited videos. Every edited video on the real AIX, matter of fact, I'll do this tomorrow, will be displayed. None of the videos, not a one video that was non edited, matter of fact, I'll do it today, will be displayed. And you can see what I am uh, talking about. The quality in the upload, the quality in the overall video itself, and the non talking head factor. So let me get on back to the video, I Used to Be Handsome, that was produced by Hitchcock and Little Coco. The two that came through first were James the Butcher. James the Butcher was actually here when I burned up, and I wouldn't go to the hospital. And my friend, I mean, there's one video or two videos. He's an old friend of mine, he's an old white guy, and he, he bought my medicine for me. And Little Coco and Hitchcock, they paid for my bandages and shit. So all you other motherfuckers out there and some of you fake ass people out there, those people stepped up and helped me. And you know, it was only for a few days and regardless of what they gave me, they didn't give it to me because, oh, this nigga asking for money. They gave it to me because I was their friend. I was somebody that they respect and that they that needed their help at the time. And everybody else, those fools with the racist statements. And it's like, even, even trash man called me and said, man, I wish I can help you, man. What do you need? So it's like, there are people out there on the other side of this camera that do mean something. So let me get back, I'm getting all melancholy and shit. You know, I have emotions. Because see, when people see emotions, they think you're faking it. Because life itself is bullshit. And people will generalize you and assume you are and, and, and say what they think you can and cannot do. So, I don't like to be limited. And because those two people helped me, those three people was there for me. I could lay down in the bed, burnt up, comfortable, and sing a song. What I do regret is the video that was lost because every morning I had to change those bandages and every morning I got in front of a camera and thank those people who bought the stuff for me to change my bandages and as I was pulling the plastic off and the tape and, the, and the, pretty much the human packaging the flesh containing shield in which was made out of fibers and cotton as I was pulling that shit off, I would scream. And you could see the pain. And you would see me have to scrape all of the stuff off of my body. All of this was in a video. And I was going to put this out as a film. Thanking the people that helped me. But after doing that one video. The talking head uh, syndrome. I start mixing it down. And I mix down the music video that would start the whole movie. And then the computer started taking a the crap on me. Then I had no place to upload all the footage. Then the hard drive camera in the camera crashed. I had to reset everything off. All of it. So there's a few snippets. And you know, just those snippets. 
And when I find it, I'll finish that. And if I can ever get that computer back running like it's supposed to, I'll dig through the old Windows files and I can complete the movie. I used to be handsome. Because I used to be handsome. When you burn up yourself and it's your fault and it's stupid and it's memory related, You want to buy a new computer so you can document all this stuff. So I've been buying these Apple computers. So now I can get all these hard drives I got and search for my own material. I'm also looking for a four terabyte whatever. Somebody told me I can get a four terabyte box and it's got four terabytes in it. <laughs> he told me I should get like four of them, he said. <coughs> And one for each computer and go through get all my media off and put one on each four terabyte box and separate it and then put all this once it's all separated mix it all the way down to the one terabyte one four terabyte unit could have all my video in the one four terabyte unit could have uh, 12 terabytes backed up. No, no, no. 12 terabytes. 12. <laughs> 12 more terabytes with just backup space and run all that through the server. Do not mix anything down in the server. Only let the server use be used for storage and storage only. No programs other than just the operating system. And that's what will make it work faster. And do all my editing on an Apple computer. Shoot it over there onto a hard drive. Have it in the server. Upload it to where the hell I want to. And everything will run smooth. That is the plan. For 2013. For now, I got to deal with what I got. I got these three Apple laptops coming in. No hard drive. No operating system. And did I buy an operating system this morning? Let me check my eBay real quick. Oh, I have an addictive, compulsive mind. When I do music, I do music for months. When I drink, I drink for days. That's a damn lie. I have vodka and all kind of stuff over there. Wine and everything I need. Money in my pocket. That's a lie. But I can drink on the daily. I was a bad kid back in the day. Let's get back to eBay. Let me check and see if I bought that operating system. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't buy the one with the damn operating system. Once again, I bought another power book. Oh, shit. Bid on the wrong one. Where's the one with the operating system at? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bids offers. PowerBook G4. Oh, no. No, no, no. Another thing, when you repair computers, So look, now I'm going to have to buy a fifth. That would be the fifth. That'll have five Apple laptops, man. Fuck. I've been on the wrong one in one. They all look the same. So, look. Now, I got to go back and spend what? These computers, don't get me wrong, they, they look excellent. They look perfect. And... When I opened it up, opened up the hood pretty much, it was 
one of the most simplistic computers I've ever seen in the inside of. If you have ever repaired a laptop or anything, that is some mind scrambling shit. Um, last month I bought three Fujitsu, the ones that spin around, you can use them like tablets. And when I put Windows 7 in, I can't use it like a tablet. It just won't go tablet mode on me. I guess I need a stylus or something. It's not happening. Uh, so the fan went out. And I opened that Fujitsu up. I bought the fan for $9. I'm like, this is going to be slam dunk. I put the fan in there. I repaired the laptop. And putting the little tab for the... um finger mouse it broke so the laptop was repaired tight it's the tightest laptop I've ever fixed but it's a little older I don't I don't want to waste my money to try to fix a new laptop and end up stupid I'll buy a laptop three to four years old maybe six at the oldest and I can rock that shit for another two years because I know what I'm doing when they don't lock up and freeze all the updates, update, update, update. Now you have no room or space and it moves around like Michael Jackson doing a slow motion move with his computer joystick. Dead neck. But now, that's how it is. So, hopefully, when I get this other computer, See, on average, I pay $30 for each one of these laptops. This one powers on, no hard drive, no RAM. This one powers on, no hard drive, no RAM. This one don't power on at all, and it's the cleanest one. That's the one I want to repair. So, you know, I'll buy enough stuff to build two of these computers, and these computers are still selling for like 200 bucks, 300 bucks when you got them fully loaded. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix me one up, then I'm going to put all the other parts in one other one, and then I'm going to turn on and let it work, take all the hard drive out, put it in the one that don't work at all, check that one out, out, don't even touch it. Then all the parts left over, I'll see if I can strap another one together, and that's it. I'll say three, one tested, power's on to boot, no operating system. The other one has hard drive and memory, untested. And the other one is for parts or whatever, untested. Give me 300. I've seen it sell like that. I'd be an idiot not to try. Hell, I bought three computers in the last couple of days. I got another one coming for another $32. I haven't paid no more than $42. And that will be on the one that I got to get next. With all the operating systems. It has two operating systems in it. It has the hard drive. And it has the repair disk. So, and it has the uh, diagnostic programming for the whole setup. After I build me an Apple computer and start buying some extra memory modules, then I'll be set. But until then best thing for me to do is start up where I want to start up and it's called the AIX network and that won't be able to happen until my website and phone turn on that won't, that, that won't happen until my um, you know my name almost expires so right before I renew my name I'll go there and, and go open up a dot TV or something like that and call it the AIX network then I'll get all my videos going. Then I'll have my wife go ahead and apply for all the bullshit. And she can put the commercials and shit on my page. I don't fuck with it. I don't even look at it. I go ahead and pay some yap 50 bucks a month or whatever. Or $20 a month or $10 a month. To fucking take care of this shit. And we'll call the fucking day after that. Other than that, look out for the AIX network. Hopefully, I can get it up. Shit. July, if I'm if everything goes right, I can I can start in July, and you know, then I can go talk to the people at GoDaddy now, slow them some money, and I can go get the Dot TV already. You know, it doesn't matter, you know. But I think I should go ahead and try these Apple computers. 
Um, also, I do appreciate everything that those two people did and Butch, the butcher, you know, it's great being made when you have people out there that truly do care about you and that will help you do the best you can for yourself. So, I don't know. You give me an idea. What do you think? You think I should switch over to Apple? Because if I can build a good one and it works right and I edit one video from beginning to end clean without having to wait. I wait. What's the longest I wait? I wait 12 hours for a video to render. It's ridiculous. Your computer locked for 12 hours rendering a video. That's all memory based. There's no memory transferring. You know, it's like computers just get dried up. Everything works. The problem with with uh, Windows is every well, you know, they're not programs anymore. Application, every application on a computer. When you turn your computer on, there's like a thousand different things turn on. I remember when Windows was simple. If Windows came out with a version of 3.1. 3.1 2010, 3.1, you know, 20, what, 3.1 2012 or whatever, 3.1 2014 they call it, whatever. And you just turn it on, and it's a fucking page. That's it. 3.1 didn't have all that crap, and oh, you know, your little bar goes up, and all you, you don't need that shit. Windows, my idea. A, a perfect Windows program is this. You turn it on, and it's like the side of a building. Each, you know, there's a side of a building, and each side of a building has a window. And you, each window you click on is a program. You open it up, you go into that program. Get it? There was a program on an HP computer my wife bought. And you, you, you navigate, that's how you navigate through the, through the computer. You go to a bookshelf, get your shit off the, you know, open a bookshelf and that's the program. You go into this room and it's like a living room. So all the stuff on the shelf there is entertainment. You go into this little office and everything was like an office. And I think that was the first computer that my wife bought. She saw me making building computers and always, you know, having to build another one or make another one, build them and sell them, build them and sell them. So she went and bought an HP. And the HP was like that. You go into the room, this room had this in it, that room had that in it, that room had that in it. There wasn't all this shit on the page. Go here, click on this 15 fucking things, open up. That's bullshit. I remember when Windows was simple. You just go on and it was a page almost. But like I said, my whole, my perfect Windows program is this. You look and it's like the side of a house or side of a building. Each program is a different window. You get a program, you stick it in the computer, and then it goes to the house or to whatever and your office or whatever. It's an office program and you're, there's an office building pop up and boom, on the side of the office building, it's that window with the name of the company on it. This is the program. Click on it, boom, it's your, you're in there. And the whole computer is just that, that program. That whole computer becomes that. No, this program on this page with this page open. No. You go to the window, boom, you touch it, you go in, you do what you got to do, boom. You go out the door. You go in the window, you go out the door, and you're back outside. Simple. You know, you put a program in, you stick it in, you can game. There might be a field. There's a field. You game, there's a stadium. You know, auto race, and then boom, all your auto racing games. The racetrack right there, auto racing. Simple. It's one fucking picture. Not a shit, no bar at the fucking bottom, no clock over here. You put all that shit on the fucking screen. It's window. Or call it dots. Have a bunch of, or just, just have it on the screen. Have it all voice command. Front door. Then you walk in and it's like, you know, set up. Simple. Make this shit simple. You don't have to turn your computer on. Updating, you have 47,000 updates. 
one critical. You know what I mean? What happens when your computer updates itself out of freaking memory? Then your computer's running slow, and you got people trying to charge you money to speed your computer up. People, if you have an Apple computer out there, tell me, is Apple better? That's all I want to know. So while I'm trying to build my computers and see if I can get my media dynasty back on course, is Apple better? See, that's what it boils down to. I even had emotions in this when I, when I talked about the, I used to be handsome, now look at me. Blah, 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 blah. I forgot the words you see because I make them up. Every damn day. Hey, hey. Nothing but edited videos. You'll know which computer was used. When you look at them based on, you know, and when they lost, fall in line. Um, only edited videos and your 40 minute shows for the next. month yeah I will put you guys back on your regular schedule on my birthday thank you for your time and this has been 40 minutes with a nappy haired black man <laughs> laugh like Eddie Murphy you might make five dollars <laughs>